Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's Advanced Functions class. This is 8.5, Solving Exponential Equations. So I wanted to start by reminding you of the half-life and compound investment formulas. So for half-life, we have a is equal to a naught times one-half to the t over h. Here, a is standing for the final amount. Um, a naught is the initial amount. One-half is because we're halving, half-life. t is the time and h is the half-life, how long does it take to get to one-half of the initial amount. Um, and, of course, if we want to use doubling or tripling, we just change this to a 2 or a 3. Um, so the base is, is so if it's half-life, then we'll use one-half. Compound investments, a equals p times 1 plus i to the n. a is the final amount. P is the principal, the initial amount, principal, um, I is the rate, and N is the number of compounding periods. Remember that um, when you're doing time and half-life, they have to be in the same units, and rate and compounding periods, these are going to happen, uh, you know, at the same at the same uh, unit as well. So if I'm compounding daily, then I'll have compounding periods in days. Compounding monthly, then I'll um, have compounding periods in months. All right, so let's do an example. A radioactive substance uh, in a container initially contains 500 grams. After 18 days, there are 400 grams remaining. What is the half-life of the substance? So the A naught was 500, the time is 18, and the amount remaining afterwards is 400. So we're going to use our formula. Make sure you write the formula out in the beginning. A equals A naught, one half to the T over H. And we're going to find the half-life um, and just substitute these in. 400 is equal to 500 times one half to the 18 over H. Um, we haven't isolated the exponent part, so we can't go into logs yet. We have to move this over. So 400 divided by 500 is 0 0.8 equals one half to the 18 over h. Now that I have an isolated exponent, I can put it in the log. So log base 0 0.5, that's 1 half of 0 0.8, is equal to 18 over h. Now, some calculators have this. They'll have log base uh, whatever of whatever. And you can certainly use that if you like. Uh, but if you don't have that on your calculator, that's OK. You can still do it. We're going to get log of 0 0.8 over log of 0 0.5 is equal to 18 over h. And because the h is in the bottom, I'm actually going to flip the top uh, and the bottom for both sides. So log of 0 0.5 over log of 0 0.8, oops, 0 0.8 like that, is equal to h over 18. Um, and then we can just type it into our calculator. We're going to get uh, 55.9-ish days. It doesn't say what to round to, so we're going to round to whatever we want. And we should write the answer out because it is a word problem. The half-life is 55.9 days. There we go. Next. So this one is an investment. Investment of 2,500 grows a rate of 4.8% per annum compounded daily. Um, so what that means is that our P, our principal, is going to be 2,500. Our um, interest is not going to be 0 0.048, but it's actually going to be 0 0.048 divided by 365. That's because we're compounding daily. If we were compounding monthly, we'd put a 12 here. If we were compounding uh, semi-annually, we put one half here and so forth. So um, actually, sorry, we put a two here and so forth, um, depending on how often per year we would get it. And um, we also have the amount that we want to have at the end is 6,000. So we're going to plug that into the formula. A equals P times 1 plus I to the N. Um, oops, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really want that little line there. Sorry. Okay, so A equals P times 1 plus I to the N, and we'll just fill it in. 6,000 is equal to 2,500 times 1 plus 0 0.048 over 365 to the N. Again, we're not isolated, so we'll move that over. It actually ends up being 2.4, so 1 plus 0 0.048 over 365 to the N. 
So let's put it into logarithmic format. We'll get n equals log base 1 plus 0 0.048 over 365. And the reason I'm putting that in there like that is so that I can get the exact value of 2.4. And you type it into your calculator, I get t or n is equal to 6657.7. And this is in days, don't forget. So if you want to do it in years, we'll divide by 365. We'll get um, 18 years and three months-ish. So that is the amount of time. So we'll say we need to, um, the investment needs to compound for 18 years and three months. It's a long time. Don't just rely on in your interest. That is the lesson right there. Okay. So we're also going to do a few of these um, as a reminder of how to solve for exponential equations. So if you want, you can pause the video and then try them. If not, you can follow along with me. I'm going to do them right now. So 2 to the x plus 2 minus 2 to the x equals 24. Here we have 2 to the x plus 2, so we know that we can take that 2 out. So this is actually going to be 2 squared times 2 to the x. That's the compound, uh, sorry, the product rule. Minus 2 to the x equals 24, like that. So we're going to get 4 times 2 to the x minus 2 to the x equals 24. Um, now I'm going to common factor out the 2 to the x. So I get 2 to the x times 3, sorry, <laughs> times 4 minus 1. I was just jumping up there. 4 minus 1 is equal to 24. So 2 to the x times 3 is equal to 24. We can divide that 3 out there. So we'll get 2 to the x is equal to 8. And so we know, well, 2 to the 3 is 8, so x is equal to 3. Okay, so it's just a little reminder of how to do this type. So if you see this plus here, that is how you're going to do it. If you have something like this where it says 2x, we actually know that this is the power rule. So this is like 3 to the x squared minus 5 times 3 to the x uh, equals negative 6. Now if that helps you, what you can do is do a little replacement. So I can write on the side 3 to the x is going to equal u and replace all of the 3 to the x's with u's. So we'll write u squared minus 5 times u equals negative 6. And then we can just factor this. If you don't need to, then you don't have to do it, but um, you know, some people find that it is very helpful. So u squared minus 5u plus 6 is equal to 0. u minus 3 times u minus 2 is equal to 0. Then u is equal to 3 and u is equal to 2. Now if we were to um, use the quadratic formula, you would use u and then now we're going to replace it back with the 3 to the x. So 3 to the x is equal to 3 or 3 to the x is equal to 2 and now we can solve for x. So x is equal to 1 in this case or x is equal to log base 3 of 2. If it doesn't ask you to round it then you should not. So we're going to give the exact value. This is the exact value log base 3 of 2. Alright, now we're going to do one last question. 9 to the x minus 5 times 3 to the x equals negative 6. This question is almost exactly the same as the last question but we'll notice that it has a 9. That's okay. This is still 3 to the 2 to the x minus 5 times 3 to the x is equal to negative 6. What this means is that this is 3 to the 2x minus 5 times 3 to the x uh, is equal to negative 6. And now you can see that this is the exact same question as the one before it. And we would solve it in the same way. I'm not going to repeat the whole process again, but you can see, see it's exactly the same. Okay. So hopefully that helps. We might get quadratic or linear exponential functions to uh, solve. Um, and of course we could get half-life or uh, compounding. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in class. Bye!